Got a call for no AC and the thermostat is not working at all. Easy access on a unit that is not in the ceiling. It's a Furco with a heat coil. First thing I'm going to check is the float switch, seeing that the pan had a little bit of water in it, but to my surprise, it wasn't going to be that easy. This baby's dry. Breaker to the fan coil was tripped, so I tried to reset it and it tripped immediately. Now it's time to dig a little deeper and open up the cover to this fan coil. With the cover off, it didn't take me long to find that the heat coil was leaking water at a constant drip. This constant drip was dripping down through the control board and the main line voltage coming in. Turn off the quick disconnect to the fan coil. Now I'm in the water heater closet looking to isolate that heat coil only. But all I can find is a return valve shutoff for the heat coil. I can't find the hot water supply shutoff for the heat coil because it's not there. Shutting down the main water supply to the apartment because I need to isolate this heat coil so the tenant can still use the water throughout the apartment. Here's the return valve, the blue line behind all these other hoses. I'm going to shut this down and keep this shut down. And just to show you what I'm talking about, this is the supply to the heat coil. There's no shut off. That I can do just to shut off the heat coil because that hot water also supplies the domestic hot water. Now I'm just draining all of the water that I can from the heat coil loop. And I'm going to install a new shutoff valve to the hot water supply to the heat coil right here in the closet because there wasn't a lot of room in the water heater closet which is a couple feet away. Right here I'm just checking my measurement by eyeballing it to see if I could fit the shutoff valve in. It's a little tight so I'm going to cut back on this PEX about one and a half inches just so I have a little more working room. I will be using a shark bite shutoff valve and every time I install shark bites I always use this depth tool that tells me exactly how far that I need to slide the shark bite on. Sure you could use a tape measure and get the same effect but this is way faster. Here's my shark bite shut off. I am going to leave these inserts in because that is what is recommended when you're using this for PEX piping. Now that I got my shark bite situated I'm going to slide it until it hits that line and once it hits that line, I know that the shark bite is inserted enough to where it's not going to leak or bust off. With the shark bite installed all the way to the lines, I'm going to go ahead and shut down on this hot water supply shutoff valve that I just installed. Open up on the main hot water supply to the rest of the apartment. Close the heat coil bleed valve and then open up the main water supply to the apartment. Check for leaks and of course there are none. And I know I'm not going to get the heat going today but I want to get the AC going. So I put a carpet fan right on where everything was leaking and I'm going to leave this on there for about 25 to 30 minutes. Everything looks dried out nice and dry so I'm going to bypass this door switch here and I'm going to reapply power to the unit. I've already reset the breaker. Let's see if it holds. Thermostat powered right on, breaker is holding. It seems that the problem with the trip breaker is fixed, but however, this heat coil will need to be replaced. I hope that I can do that when it comes in, but for now, I'm just trying to get them cooling and keep them cooling and everything is looking great. Thank you so much for watching. For now, this fix is done.